Welcome back to another episode of Ocean Science After School. My name is Jasmine and today we're going to be making a scuba diver in a bottle. Alright, so for this activity you're going to need a few materials. You're going to need a sharpie, paper clips, a plastic cup, some clay, scissors, tape, a bendy straw, and the cutout of a scuba diver, which you can get at piersparksailing.org slash OSAS. You're also going to need a plastic bottle. You can use an old um, juice bottle, or if you have like a seltzer water bottle, you can use that as well. You just also want to make sure that you have a cap for it. All right, start off the activity. We're going to go ahead and take our plastic cup and the cutout of our scuba diver. We're going to put a little bit of tape on the other side. We're just going to stick it to our plastic cup. That way it does move around while we trace it. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to go ahead and trace the scuba diver. All right, after you trace it, you go ahead and peel him off. There we go. Next thing you wanna do is uh, cut out your scuba diver from your plastic cup. All right, here we go. We have our little scuba diver. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place him aside. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our bendy straw and our paper clip. And we're gonna go ahead and make his diving tank. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut out the bendy part of the straw. That's the part that we're gonna want to use for this activity. All right, so now I have the bendy part of the straw and my paper clip. Now I want to put the bendy part of the straw onto the paper clip. So I'm gonna put one end on the part that sticks up of the paper clip, and then I'm going to fold over the straw and put the other end on the part of the paper clip that is sticking up. So you have something that looks like this. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our scuba diver and we're going to put the tank on him. So we're going to take the paper clip and we're just going to slide it right on just like this. So now he has a little diving tank. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take our clay and we want to just pinch off a tiny bit of clay. Go flatten it out a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and put it at the foot of our diver. Just going to put it right on. 
just like that. Now this adds a little bit of weight to the diver to help him sink. So see in the activity why we need the clay. All right, the next thing we're gonna take is we're gonna take our, water, our bottle and we're gonna fill it up with water. All right, so now we have our bottle full of water. It's important to fill the bottle all the way up with water, all the way to the top. One thing to keep in mind is that a bigger bottle might be harder to get your scuba diver to go down to the bottom. So we went ahead and switched out to a smaller bottle. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side. All right, so we're gonna take our scuba diver and we're gonna put him into the bottle. Now when you put your scuba diver into a bottle, a little air bubble forms inside of the straw. So when we put our cap on, now we wanna make sure this is screwed on very, very tight. The clay at the bottom of the diver acts as a weight. And when you squeeze the bottle, it compresses the air that's in the straw, which that and combined with the weight of the clay helps the diver sink to the bottom. Sometimes he may get stuck at the bottom. That's okay. You just gotta wait for him to come back up. You might have little complications, like when you put him in the bottle at first, he might sink to the bottom, and that means that you just need to take a little bit of the clay off. There might be times where you go to squeeze the bottle and he doesn't sink to the bottom. So you might need to adjust the straw and maybe you have to bend it a little bit more or uh, the opening of the straw is a little bit shut. So you might have to open that a little bit. Sometimes the cap is not screwed on all the way and that can affect if your diver sinks to the bottom or not. It's okay if you don't get on the first time. This took us a few times to get, but just keep trying and soon you'll get it. And that concludes our scuba diver in a bottle activity. For more activities, you can go to peersparksailing.org slash OSAS.